In KCW, you may want to put raised panels on the ends of your cabinets. And the way that you do that is, first of all, put your units up that you need up on the screen. Let's put a couple of cabinets up. Let's say a base cabinet over here. And then let's just go up and put a uh, wall cabinet above it. And let's do this now. We want to come down to our section that has to do with uh, panels. Now, if you notice in the unit menu here, near the bottom of the list, we have top panels, base panels, and tall panels. Well, if we click on base panels, you're going to notice that you have base panel left, base panel right. And just like top panels, same thing. And if we come down to tall cabinets or tall panels, same thing. Now, just because you see a picture with only one panel on it doesn't mean that you don't have multiple configurations in KCDW. You have lots of choices, including no panel at all. could just be a flat panel made out of some other type of material, not solid wood. So at this point, let's go ahead and put on the left side here a base panel. Now, some people... When we double click on base panel, notice it says left. We can go next and uh, let's go eight here. We'll go left of. Now notice it's three quarters of an inch wide. Now some people apply their panels to the sides. Well, it says flat paneled in. Well, if we click OK, it's just going to be a flat panel, but let's put a, a square raised panel on that and click OK. Now we'll do the same for the top panel left. Double click on it and we'll go next to nine. We'll go left of. And we'll do a, let's say, an arched raised panel because we want to match the arch right here. So let's click OK. Now, when we go to 3D, you're going to notice we have panels on the ends of these cabinets. Let me just move forward on it. And you see the raised panels over here. Now, what's important is to realize that sometimes people do make their panels separate than the, you know, on the cabinets. Well, if that's what you want to do, go ahead and do that. Now, if you want to make this a physical part of the cabinet, if you do face frame cabinets, well, all you need to do is make the face width of this the style width of what this cabinet would be. Let's say it was two inches. And click OK. And I'm just going to move it over. And I'm just going to double click on that. I'm going to make that two. I want to make sure it's next to eight and left of. And we're going to go OK. Now, I can make the left style of this unit zero and click OK, that's one cabinet now. It's 17 and 7 eighths, just as this will be when I make the left style zero. We'll go zero and click OK. Now, that's a physical part of the cabinet. Now, when we go to 3D, what you're going to notice, if we come around and down and forward, I'm just going to move the picture to the right. What you're going to notice, this is a structural part of the cabinet now. Now, if you notice, look at the top rail there. I'd probably want to make that wider, wouldn't I? So let's return to 2D. Double click on that. And you'll notice that we have a choice of changing all these rails on the, the piece. Let's go uh, 6 inches. I'm just going to pick a number. Click OK. That way, when we go to 3D, you notice how much wider it is there. So it does do exactly what we tell it to do. And you're going to find that you can do the same thing over here on the tall cabinets. So if you want a tall panel, just go tall panel left or tall panel right in this case. And notice you have all these choices down below.